but I don't. Once I got planning approved, what happens then is Dan would um, assign a project manager in Poland to look after your house in particular. And once the project manager is assigned, then they can start to tackle the detailed architectural drawings of your house. So for that, they need your kitchen layout plan. So you have to, even though it's months away from building your house, months away from putting your kitchen in, you have to work out from the plans you have from Dan Wood what kitchen is going to go where in your house. So make sure you do that early on in the process. They will tell you that, but have a detailed kitchen plan with all that makes sure it fits exactly. Because if you're going to order a kitchen, of course, as we all know, and then you don't get the measurements right. I did it all online with various companies. I went to four or five different kitchen planning companies and in the end used the one which had the look and the materials I liked and a very, very good price. They were actually in the end B&Q kitchens. Uh, I went to all the others and B&Q, the girl who did the kitchen planning for me, gave me some really good input um, and really helped with the design and understood what I was doing. In the end, I went into B&Q as well because they allowed that so I could actually finalize what I wanted to do. But again, so, so Dan would need all those measurements, all those controls, and they double check them with the project manager to make sure everything you've got is going to fit when you build it or have it installed, whatever you want to do. Because that's the one thing, as we know, they do not install. Um, so once they've got the kitchen drawings, then basically the architect's drawings are, are drawn up with all the sanitary you picked up on the, on the Dan Wood manager, which is the, the very tempting and very... Um, uh, just, just, it's, it's just dangerous because they have this Dan Wood site which has all the sanitary wear on, has all the doors, has everything you're going to choose for your house. It's all there. And the first four or five choices are standard, which means you don't pay for them. And then below that are all the stuff which is options. Now try not to go down for too many options because their price is next to them and your little price calculator in the top just builds up if you change a tap or if you change a door if you put another bath in it goes up very quickly the Danwood standard stuff is actually very good I changed the tap slightly for five pounds more um, and I put in bigger showers which are part of the Christmas deal so you, you, you sort out your sanitary wear for them any additions you make to the house yourself now in my case I actually flipped the whole house design so basically I mirrored it so downstairs and upstairs is mirrored that's because I wanted the, the bedrooms to overlook one way as opposed to the other way and to do that because of the plumbing layout of the Danwood houses, you can't just mirror the top floor because then the bathroom in the top floor won't be above the plumbing layout for the bathroom in the bottom floor, if you see what I mean. Anyway, I'm getting into that. So mirrored it, and then also I wanted to do some external cladding on the house. Um, because I wanted to break up the white render so I've been working out the best kind of larch cladding that's the only cladding they have is larch wood which is very trendy at the moment uh, horizontal larch wood cladding so I'm having that around the front door and around the back so all those changes have to go to the project manager so he as an architect can then work out and draw up accurate architectural drawings so once you've signed off on those they come back backwards and forwards I want to have the doors opening outwards we did various changes then you go on to the static calculations and the slab drawing. Um, now the slab drawing and the static calculations are really important because that is what your ground works, the person doing your foundation needs. He needs the static calculations to work out how to do the exact foundation that Dan would need. So it's that process. So first of all, you get the planning, you then get the architectural drawings, you then add all the things you want to that, the kitchen, etc., in the architectural drawings to get that down to what you need. Then you get the static calculations. Anyway, that's a lot of information. I hope it's helped everyone. I'd really like to thank you all for subscribing and also for asking me questions. And I hope I've answered your questions clearly and really helped out in this process. We're all, well, a lot of us are newbies at this and we're learning as we go. And we're learning from my mistakes and our mistakes. Um, so if you have any questions about anything I've spoken about, please, you know, leave a comment below and I will get onto it and answer you. Um, I hope that helps. Anyway, good luck everyone out there. I hope it's going well for you. Um, 
and here's to the next uh, next video. Bye now.